All right, welcome to another how-to video. I'm Brian, I'm gonna be your host. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to check all your fluids on your truck, knowing your fluid levels. Let's dive in. First thing you want to do, open up your hood. Start at your driver's side of the truck. Starting at the driver's side of the truck, we always want to work from the firewall forward. We're going to start with our oil. Your oil is typically going to be identified by the yellow cap. Pull your oil out. It does help to have a paper towel. On your oil dipstick, you will see a full line. So what you want to do, clean your dipstick off, put it in, make sure you lock it into place, pull it out, and check to see if you're at the full line. Next fluid we want to move over to is our power steering fluid, typically located just to the left of your oil fill. So if you look on your power steering reservoir, you will be able to see a hot fill and a cold fill located on either side. Depending on whether you're just starting out for the day or if the truck's been running, that's going to determine which line you need to go off of. Typically, if you're doing your pre-trip, you're going to be looking at the cold side. Check your fluid level, make sure you are at your full line. Moving over to the next fluid that we need to look at, our washer fluid. Your wash fluid reservoir could be located in multiple different places depending on the make and manufacture of your truck. On this Kenworth, it is located on the driver's side just to the left of your power steering. On the side of your reservoir, you will have a fill line to let you know how much needs to be added. Typically, they're going to tell you how many gallons you need to get to the next point. Moving over to the right-hand side of the truck now, the final fluid that we need to take a look at is going to be your coolant reservoir. Your coolant reservoir is going to vary depending on, like I said, with the power steering, whether you've been running hot or whether the truck is cold. You're going to look at your coolant reservoir. You will see a minimum and a maximum line. You want to stay within those ranges. You do not want to go above the maximum line. You risk overpressurizing the system and causing damage to your engine. Thank you guys once again. This has been another how-to video. Today we looked at how to check the fluid levels on your truck. Make sure that if you enjoyed the video, you like, comment, and subscribe down below. If you want to see any of our other how-to videos, check the bottom right-hand side. You'll see a list of those videos there. Thank you.